All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I'm on the upper end of Gunnersville Reservoir. Thought I'd take me a little road trip. I'm kind of limited on bait. I've got some uh, gizzard shad and a few frozen skipjack. The water is absolutely ripping through here. 80 something thousand CFM. And uh, it's kind of muddy. I'm moving down current pretty quick here as I'm sitting here talking, but uh, hey, I figured I'd take a little road trip, man. I noticed when I got the boat off the trailer, I checked my wheel bearings, and the wheels are kind of loose, so looks like I need wheel bearings when I get back either way. Let's see if we can get a catfish. I've got about five hours to break this down and try to get something out of here, and I'm going to have to leave out because uh, it's kind of a sketchy ramp looks to me like. Uh, I've seen a couple beat up cars cruising. There's really nobody to watch your stuff. I've had a few uh, guys looking for pickles show up already while I was trying to uh, unload the boat. So I don't know about this ramp. But either way, let's see if we can get a catfish today. I'm going to just kind of look at the Navionics here. I, I set up here and I have the option to go to the dam and try to bump because uh, they are running a lot of water, but I don't think February is the best time of year to be bumping. So supposedly below an island up here, there's a deep section of river, and there's also a couple smaller rivers that dump out. Now I'm not sure what's going on, but if those smaller rivers are dumping a warmer water temperature than this big river, uh, there could be some fish congregated in front of those. So let's scan this thing here, see what we can come up with. Pretty good hole right below that bridge there we just crossed under. I'll scan it. And I've got a river dumping out here just above the ramp. I don't know what it's called. Let's see if Navionics will tell you. No, Navionics ain't gonna tell me what it is. Either way, I got a small river dumping out right there. So we're gonna check out everything from here. And it looks like most of the places I wanna fish are within half a mile of this ramp. There's some kind of uh, commercial fishing stuff I'm passing all over the place. They got them tied off, got them marked. This could be a big net coming up through here. I don't know. But as I'm coming up into this creek, uh, the water temperature is warmer than out there. Could be skipjack in here. Could be a bunch of catfish in here. The water temps are warmer. And it's definitely supporting enough depth to hold some big cats. 17 foot average so far as I'm coming in. Yeah, there's nets or something all up through here. I don't know if that's a big trot line or what it is. I hate to get caught up in it. It's going up this whole entire thing. Looks like I got just a little bit of flow in here. I hope this ain't a big trot line I'm fishing on. It stretches all the way back up in here. I marked a tree down just over here. So I'm gonna anchor in front of it, man. And we may spot lock right in here for a minute. The water temps here are about, it's almost 50 degrees up in here. Main temp out there was 47. So the water is a little warmer than what it is back home, and it's definitely warmer in this creek. Almost 50 degrees in this creek. Let's just uh, anchor down in here for a second, man. I like this temperature rise. We'll put uh, one on one of those uh, float suspended rigs. I'll run one slap on the bottom. We're just going to kind of fill this out real quick. And I'm going to throw away uh, some skipjack lures in here while I'm in here. We'll put two rods out. That'll let me know how active it is. If it's worth staying. It'll give me more room to cast my skipjack stuff.
you're searching out these creeks in the winter, sometimes the creeks are warmer, sometimes they're colder. If it's colder, you definitely don't want to come up in it. If they're warmer, they are worth a check. I hate braided line. I hate braided line. If this was mono, I'd be having a good old time. I hate braided line. So far, we ain't catching jack squat. Not having any fresh skipjack, I wouldn't mind getting some, just for some variety in my bait. I kind of feel naked without no fresh skipjack, to be honest. It don't look like uh, the skipjack bites on fire in here. And so far, there ain't no uh, catfish bites either. All the catfish could be stuck to this trot line that's literally running the entirety of this thing up here. I can see it up there a half a mile, I can see them markers. So that could be what happened to the catfish in here. I could have had the right idea, but whoever this commercial fisherman is, obviously if you need a trot line that long, he figured it out before I did and he's got them all stuck to that line. Either way, I was on the right thought process. Anytime you're in a cold water situation, look for warmer sources of water. We're doing that. We just ain't seen no cats. All right, y'all, I sat in this thing about 35 minutes and uh, I drove two and a half hours to get here and we got less than four hours left to fish before it gets dark. The initial thing I looked at on the map was some deeper sections of water just below this island up here. So we're going to head up there next. I wanted to try it since I seen the water temps was a little bit warmer in here. And if I sat here long enough I may score. But if I don't, I drove two and a half hours to get here and this video is going to be a bore. So let's head up river. I'm not hardly marking fish, man. These things just must be tight to the bottom. Here in February, they're hunkered down. So we're gonna throw baits. It's kind of a drop off right here. It's really swift. I'm hoping they're gonna use it for a current break. This current is so swift, man. This trolling motor is running like on speed nine, <laughs> just to keep up. It's a good test for my uh, new lithium batteries. Let's try it for a bit. This current is swift, man. Two on the bottom, one on the right's the Catfish Day bling bling rig with the rattle and the whole nine yards. This current is ripping. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
show. <laughs> yeah. He's all, boy. We done hooked up! And this hard current, man, I don't want to uh, pull it out of his face, so we're gonna have to work him up in here. Hope he don't get in the mother lives. I'm hoping he swims up under the boat. You don't feel like no dinky fish. He's just a bulldog. This fish kind of feels heavy, man. Just bulldog I'm getting hit and I'm getting bites. We got another one going down right there. We got one going down right there. We double hooked up. It's going to be hard to net this fish in this current. It's going to be hard to net. That fish is going down river. We got two good ones on. He's 
not that big a fish, this one here. It's just this incredible current it's making them feel big. But that one might be. Come on up here, son. Not a bad fish. This one here just going down river, man. That sun's about right in the camera. Woo! I don't know what kind of picture I got. I'm gonna put this one in this live well and try my live well for a minute. gonna go after this fish. We going after this one. We'll just set back up. Let me take this coat off, man. I'm burning up. Current. He's 
staying right under the boat, man. Right under the boat. There he is. He ain't even that big of a fish. Well, he ain't bad. He ain't bad. A lot easier to land going the, with the river flow here. That's not a bad fish. No, oh. not a bad fish. Oh yeah, we got him, man. Not a bad fish there. Yes, sir. This was that first spot I wanted to go to, and I got sidetracked looking at that creek. On the Catfish Day Bling Bling Rig. All right, y'all, let's get this big thing up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh. barely hold him like a normal fish, but he ain't a bad fish at all, man. Curl that tail the other way. Curl that tail the other way. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. We here, man. Gunnersville Reservoir. Yes, sir. Oh. Let go of my hand, son. Ouch. Let go of my hand, son. Oh. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> we ain't stuck on Fort Lousy Reservoir no more. I got this one in the live well. Even the small one, the little dinky fish, he's bigger than the average size fish you get in Watts Bar, so, yeah. Shoot you. Yes, sir. We almost had one. I'm not staying here long. I gotta grease them bearings and change them very soon when I get back home. I'm anchored uh, just right outside the ramp over here right now. This water's ripping. There's a little drop off right here. That's where I got that bite. And I got these two a little farther down into this hole. Oh. Got hit again pretty quick. The fish finder doesn't really show them, man. I'm going over where I think there will be fish, but I guess they're just so tight to the bottom. That's two bites fairly quick. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on this rattle rig. We got one on.
I may have to uh, chase this one down too. He's coming up to the top of the water. tangled in that other line. I'm going to chase this one down too. We got a mess, I'm gonna have to cut this one. We're gonna drop the spot lock and chase him down. I gotta cut this line or I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna lose this fish. We got him now. Pretty fat fish. He ain't as near as big as that one, but he's a nice one. He's a nice one. No! Oh, no! Oh. Yes, sir. Quality fish. <laughs> yes, sir. This is the same thing, man. Swift current. Seen it on my Navionics. There's another one right down below the bridge. And they're all through here. But you'll see these sharp drop-offs and dips where they're kind of laying in out of this current. This time of year, this cold water. Right now, right here, this is how to get them. Not too much farther down river is Alabama. I knew there was better fish in Alabama. And by fishing Gunnersville, I was able to catch Alabama fish with the Tennessee fishing license just over the border. I better eat me a few of these prunes to combat some of that cheese I ate earlier. 
I didn't get here till noon. Uh, spent a lot of time in that creek. Hoping to be some skipjack up in there once I seen the water temperatures rise. And I wasn't out here that long. Still had some fun. There's another hole right down from me, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, boat back on the trailer because uh, those wheels are a little loose. I've got some grease in the truck. I'm gonna grease them up and I gotta decide what I'm gonna do. I gotta decide if I'm gonna go home. I gotta decide if I wanna stay around here and get an earlier start. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Either way, we found a few fish that wanted to chew. I wanted to bring my boat out with these new rod holders, with these new lithium batteries, uh, and it, some extreme current at a place I had a shot at hooking some quality fish. And I'd never been to Gunnersville, but I came. Got several fish on video. That's another one for the Catfish Dave Show. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave from Gunnersville Reservoir, just up from the Alabama line, signing out.